in the last episode, we took on Rangers and we won 1-0 before we took on Partick in the Scottish Cup fifth round and we drew 2-2. We also took on Marseille in the first knockout round, first leg at Easter Road and we drew 1-1 in this episode. It's the second leg at Marseille. It's the replay against Partick and another Edinburgh Derby to boot. Since you've been gone, we've also taken on Motherwell at Easter Road and we won 2-0. Edinburgh, home of royalty, culture, and tradition. It's also home of two classic Scottish clubs, but there's only room for one of them. Welcome to the Pride of Edinburgh. So here we are, kicking it off. Uh, this could be the end to our European adventure when we take on one of the heavyweights from France, Marseille. We currently won one on aggregate. Um, can we upset the odds and go a little bit further? Or is the dream over? So my starting 11 for this match is like this. Glover in goal, Lazaroni, Hanlon, Erkstrand, George and Tillman, McGinn, Adam, Quintongo, Dragomir and Madden up front. With the likes of Fez, Murray, uh, youngster, Brian Laird gets a, gets an inclusion. In fact, is he? No, he's probably not. We're going to drop him lastminute.com and bring in Silverka because he's been pretty decent recently anyway let's get this game underway so our host can with a 4-2-3-1 and we might be a bit mad by playing madden ahead of uh a fit murray but you know i've got to i'm just i've just got an inkling in my bones okay folks here we go the possibility of our european adventure could come to a close here if we cannot uh i think we need a win or a score a high scoring draw would get us through georgian to quintongo adam can he pick a pass? McGinn. Hanlon. But here can Marseille. It's broken up by McGinn, though. Lazzaroni. McGinn. Tillman. Dragomir. Bad pass. And here comes Marseille with a shot up and over. A nil-nil would not be enough. So we got to score. We have to score. Quintongo. So it's a cross. McGinn shot. It's parried. But uh, Marseille clear. Corner. Not corner. It's a free kick. By Marseille. Ocampos shot straight at Glover. And he gets a uh, reasonably early touch for, of the ball. But another shot from a free kick from Marseille. This one wide, completely wide. Glover doesn't even get anywhere near it. Free kick once again from Marseille. Pumped into the box. Paye. Gustavos hustled by McGinn. Here come Hibbs now with Dragomir. Can he pick out Madden? No, he cannot. Back to the keeper, Mandanda. Can he distribute it well? He's playing it short to his defenders, chasing some of the Hibs players. But here come Marseille on the attack. Munir, he scored in the first leg, and he nearly scores in the second leg as Glover parries, but it's cleared by Hibs. Here come Marseille again, though. Bit of a nice build-up over to Ismaet, and his shot is up and over. We're hanging in there. Um, I think I think I'm going to throw... Hang on a minute. Let's just keep my mouth shut. But the corner... I'm going to probably throw Murray and Fez on, despite his injury in the second half, if uh, if we need the goals. Over the top here for uh, Hibbs, for dragging me to chase, but it's cleared by Marseille. Again, slow build-up for Marseille at the back. Ismail to Gustavo. But she comes forward to Munir. That was a weak effort. Doesn't really deserve a highlight, but it is. 20, nearly 25 minutes gone. Erkstrand to Quintongo. Madden, back to Quintongo. Gets a cross in, it's poor. Here come Marseille once again with Amavi, Paye, Gustavo, Ismait, Tuaven. I'm probably butchering these names. Comes to Munir, hustled down, Paye over the top for Gustavo. Lovely build up. Munir's shot is over. Joe Glover was, was following it. And here come Marseille once again from the back to Mandanda, to Ismait, Gustavo, Tuaven. Cabela runs with it. Munir has a shot. Glover collects. Marseille again, Gustavo, Munir, Gustavo, Cabela, Paye, Gustavo, Amavi. Cabela eventually comes to Ocampos and the goal is there, but it's been ruled out, scratched off the books for being offside, so we live and breathe again. Here come Hibbs though, Madden, can he get a cross in? He can, Dragomir's header is over and it'll be a goal kick for Marseille and again they play it short, building from the back. Something we probably need to rectify at the break. Comes towards Ocampos again. Bodies in the box. Munir's there once again. And Marseille do have their noses in front this time. But it was always going to be this way. We'd always have to score. So a nil-nil would be nothing. 
a 1-1 draw would be something and that is a corner and it looks like we're gonna have a penalty and this could be game over game over no big save by glover but the rebound comes right back at him for cabela and that's 2-0 and that's possibly our euro dreams in tatters throw in we're gonna have to just go for it in the second half and there could have been th three there we held on so long uh, to lose two goals pretty close to each other. It's quite disappointing. Dragomir, that, and that's our best. That's our best. So that's half time. 2 0 up, Marseille. So we've mixed it up for the second half. We have brought on Murray and Fez for Madden and Georgian. We have also switched it up to attacking. So we've just we've, we've got to give it our all. We need to score two goals to get ourselves anywhere. And if this goes in, it'll be three goals. But it goes out for a corner. Paye will take it. Floats it in there to Tuaven. Shot is blocked. He'll get a go again. Crosses it in there. Paye is in there, but it's blocked once again. And Hibbs can breathe ever so slightly. It was always going to be a tall order. But one thing for Scotland. Aberdeen doing the business. They're keeping their European quest alive. They are 2-1 in front. Thwaven eventually cleared by Erkstrand. But they get to go again. Same deal. It's broken up by Tillman this time. He punts it forward towards Fez, who's back in the field. Still get, got that injury, but we've included him. Murray, and that's our best effort of the night. Aberdeen, yep, 2-1 on Agra up over the uh, Cypriot side. Eventually comes to uh, McGinn. And it'll be a corner. Quintongo takes it. Comes out to Fez. Strikes it. Mandanda collects. And right now, it looks... I, I don't see anything. I do not see any other options uh, for us from the bench. Maybe Silverka for somebody. But it just looks like it's already written down in paper that Marseille are through. Cabela, Gustavo, Sanson. Oh, Campos. That's three. That's pretty easy. And it should be job done for Marseille. Well, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, but wasn't meant to be. We had a tough group as well, when you think about it. It's been a long old season. A long old European adventure, starting from the old the preliminaries to get this far. has been great. Glover collects. If we can get a goal, that would make the trip worthwhile to France. But here comes Paillet looking for goal number four in the night. But that was up and over. 24 shots for Marseille. 11 on target. We've had 7. 3 on target for Hibbs. Last 10 minutes. Tillman. Fez. Gets the ball in there. Murray's effort is over. Let's let's go go for it. Overload. We got to. In fact, is that doom and gloom for them? No, they they have two goals uh, from Cyprus. So Aberdeen hanging on in there. They could be Scotland's representative in the next round. Quintongo. Dragomir. Sets up McGinn. Slips in Murray. Brought down, crosses in the Fez, gives us a bit of a, a bit of a lifeline. Still need two more goals though to really make things sweat. If we get one more right now, then that would uh, that would be something. Don't give it to them. Goal kick for Hibs. Come on. Oh dear. Free kick, Paye is right at the wall, and we are running out of time. We can get a goal from this. We might, I might throw it all at them. But it looks like they're going to get a goal from this, if anybody. So, three-one on the night, four-two on aggregate. Yes, yeah, a little disappointing. Big tackle there from Quintongo, but it's kept alive by my Marseille. Mania's shot is hit on Glover, and he'll go by for another corner. Paye will take it, floats it in there towards Mania. He wants another goal. It's saved. By Glover, it's actually a free kick, and that's the last bit of action of the European adventure. So that concludes our European adventure. Uh, as for Aberdeen, they win on away goals. Congrats to them. Other big hitters, Man United blasted past Zenit. Uh, Rangers go crashing out to Shakhtar. So all our hopes and dreams for Scotland, anyway, are with Aberdeen. So in the second game of this video, we take on Partick in the Scottish Cup. Fifth round replay at Easter Road. We were held to a uh, draw last time out at their place. Hopefully we can get the job done and in get ourselves into the next round. So sticking with the tried and trusted. Well, it's not really tried and trusted, but the guys who took them. Uh, so my starting 11 for this match is like this. Bunny goal, Bunny, Johnson, 
Watson, Gray, Swanson, Wilson, Batten, Boyle, Romanotta and Madden. And we're going to come out the blocks all guns blazing. Our visitor is going with a 4-2-3-1. So Hibs get the match underway. Some nice early feels of the ball for a lot of the players. But here come Partick looking to get the first attack on the, the day. And that is 30 seconds on the clock. Good effort from Partick. Winner of this match takes on the winner of the Rangers St. Mirren match into the uh, is it quarterfinals or semifinals? Uh, I'm not too sure. I think it's the quarterfinals. Divine, Spittle, Osman over the top. Gray back to Bun. Madden heads it for Barton. Boyle to Madden. Riminotta, Barton. And they could have been a touch of offside if that had gone in. Bun punts it long. Here comes Partick with Doolan. Bodies in there. Hebb's bodies. And she goes out for a goal kick. Bunny with a throw. Swanson. Back to Bunny. Sets up Barton on his own. If he'd only played Madden in on his right hand side. Probably would have had a goal. Here comes Partick now with Spittle. Elliot. Tries the tackles. Try to come in. Osman has a shot. Bun saves. Corner for Partick. Comes out to Story. Blocked. Doolin. Miller. Bannigan over the top for Doolan and a chase. Crosses in there. But she comes out for Riminotta for Hibbs. He loses it. But his pace is trying to make up for the make amends. And Johnson gets it back to the keeper. Eventually comes out for Partick once again. A lot of scrambling going along. Bun eventually butts it along. Barton over the top for Madden to chase. His shot is weak. But Scully collects. No problem. Scully boots a goal kick out. Uh, Madden collects. Boyle tries to set up an attack. But here comes Partick on the counter. Doolan shot straight at uh, Bun. And we can live and breathe one more time. Here comes Doolin again. Anderson. Elliot. Anderson. Doolin. Just turns and shoots. Bun was you know, equal to it. Followed out behind for a goal kick. The resulting goal kick has ended with a uh, bunny clearance. Only as far as now Partick who build again. Riminotto makes a break for Madden. Can he turn and shoot? He does. Scully tips it over for a corner. Not a bad effort. Oh, and Johnson. Glenn Johnson. Not renowned for his scoring. But he had an opportunity right there to add to uh, his probably minimal goal tally of his career. And that corner results all the way back to uh, the Partick goal line. Over the top now for Madden. Can he? No, he can't. He cannot do anything. Bun. Goal kick. Free kick even. Poorly taken. And here come Partick. Osman. Shots. Or shoots. Buns turns it over for another corner. Miller will take it. To Story on the edge of the box. His shot is wild. We are just shy of the half an hour mark. Still no goals. Pretty even contest. Uh, I think Partick are shading it with their possession and their chances. I am going to have to look to make some changes. I don't think Madden and Ruminotta are the answer today. I think they are getting outplayed. Certainly showing um, a lack of quality in front of goal. Uh, and here come Partick with Osman, and that shot is wide. Remember, Partick are a championship side, so it's a complete division less than us. We are second. I think they are first or second in the championship. And it's around about the half time now. Uh, nil nil. It's also nil nil between Rangers and St. Mirren. So we have mixed it up a little bit. We've brought on, uh, what's his name? Simon Murray. And we took off Barton. Probably our best player, which is a bit of a stupid move, to be honest with you. As a corner for Partick, take, takes a few bounces, eventually comes out to somebody, but it'll be a goal kick for Hibbs. So we do lack that quality now in midfield. And in fact, our midfield's kind of gone a little weird, because it's more of a diamond formation. There's no real dead centre midfield uh, player now. We have an attacking midfield and a defensive midfielder. But here comes Gray with a cross, straight at Scully's arms, collects it, and he boots it towards... Uh, Somebody, and here comes Story with the effort. That shot is up and over. So we've taken our, a real chunk out of our midfield and uh, committed to attack. So the middle of the park is up for grabs. Still no nil at Ibrox. Elliot throwing for Spittle now. Back to Elliot. Osman. Doolan. Anderson. Cleaned up by Gray. Back to Bun. Punts it forward towards Madden. Can Murray tackle him? No, he can't. Here come... Partick, but it's broken up. Boyle now to Riminotta. Sets up Murray. Turns and shoots. Beautiful goal. Very calm and composed. And that's why we have to have a good bench for situations like this. But it's not over yet. Bit of a mistake at the Hibs defence. Eventually cleaned up by Bunny. Just gets rid of it. 
Spittle now with a throw. Osman Doolin. Story shot is wide. 70 minutes gone. Still got our noses in front. It's not it's not comfortable, but free kick. Doolin's effort straight at Bun. He parries it and Bunny again clears. So he's Bunny's been solid to that left back. Never thought I'd say those words. Miller. Sterling, Anderson, Ross for Doolin to chase. Big tackle from Watson to Bun. And he will take his time. Picks out Ruminotta. Story though over the top of Anderson. Chases one on one with Bun. Puts it wide. And now Bun boots the resulting goal kick towards Madden. Boyle for Madden to chase. Can he get across in there? Murray's waiting. Scully collects. And now headed on. Ball kept alive for Partick. Osman, Anderson, Doolin. Straight at bun. Take your time. Still no nil Ibrox. So we don't know who was going to be playing who in the next round. We're still waiting. I'd love St. Mirren because I think oh, we've ridden our luck against uh, Rangers this season. We picked up a win. Bun collects that resulting uh, bit of possession. Swanson sets up Madden. Can he tuck it in? He can. 2 0. Finally, some goals from Madden. That should be job done for Hibbs. Ruminato with assist, Swanson with assist, Scully with a goal kick towards Stoney, but Bunny heads it towards somebody, and it comes Gray. Ruminato over the top for Murray to chase. Can he tuck it in there? No, he can't. Boyle gets a second go at it. Scully eventually collects. Still 0 0 at Ibrox. Keeping our eyes on that. Free kick results in a bun possession. Osman now for Partick. Anderson takes the block. Doolan, Ruminotta over the top now for Manda. Chase has got Murray with him. If he can pick him out, he can. Gets it in there. Second goal of the day. Super sub Murray saves the day for Hibbs. And we are in dreamland. I would say dreamland, but we're into the next round, I would say. Last few seconds of the match. Bun will be happy with a clean sheet. Murray will be happy with the extra goals, as would Madden. And other guys will be happy with some game time under their belts. So, big call taking Barton off. But I think it paid off. Look at that, Riminot against Man of the Match. And we will take on Rangers in the next round. And that game is coming up right here, right now. So our next game in this video is an away match up against Rangers in the Scottish Cup quarter final. It was supposed to be Hibs, but that game got postponed. So we are probably looking to do that another time. So my start level for this match is like this. Glover, Lazaroni, Hanlon, Erkstrom, George, and Tillman, McGinn, McGow, Windus, Murray, and Quintongo up front with Fez and Dragomir, Bunny, and the like on the bench. So our host going with a 4-2-3-1. So Rangers get us underway in a rainy Ibrox. Um, can we get the better of them for the second time in a row? That would be nice. Looks like they've got a different keeper in between the sticks this time. And we have a penalty already for Rangers in the first minute. And it's going to be Morelos. No, it's Tavener. Tavener and Morelos has brought down. But it's up and over. A missed pen by Tavener. Here come Hibbs now. Maybe he can uh, apply some pressure from that golden, what was it, lifeline, I would say. Because that penalty could have, could have, should have, would have given him a lead. Windus, Tillman, McGinn, picks out Tillman. Can he get a cross in there? McGinn, turn and shoot. No. Here comes Rangers now with Candias. There's Morelos. His shot straight at Glover. Looks like it cooked him out of bounds, but I think we get away with that. Cardioso, free kick. Majorca, Candias, blocked. Erkstrand, Georgian, back to Glover. Hanlon, McGinn, over the top for Quintongo to chase. Murray's in there with him. Went for gold, and he's nowhere near. Twenty minutes gone. Goal kick. Olnick kicks it out. Comes to Payne over the top for Morelos. He doesn't miss from there. One nil Rangers. Just shy of thirty minutes. We're attacking. Crying out loud. I think we should go counter. 
Yorker with the corner. McCulloch clears it. Eventually comes back to McCulloch. Can break now for Murray. Can he pick a pass? Georgian. Murray. Slips in Quintongo. Again, the ambitious effort from Quintongo is not what I'm looking for, boy. Bruno Alves with a free kick to Taverner. O'Hanran. Pina. Jack. Malaros. Malaros? What's his name? Morelos. Morelos. Anyway, just shy of 45 minute mark. Rangers do have the noses in front with that Morales goal. Um, we've really, we've been in it, but we've not been in it, if you know what I mean. Half time, 1 0. So, second half gets underway. Hips kick us off. Still raining at Ibrox. Quintongo to Windus, playing against his former club. Georgian to Erkstrand, back to Hanlon. Nice slow build up by Hibbs. Brought down. We'll take that. Just because. Lazaroni, McCulloch. McCulloch, McGow. Morelos' shot is wide. 50 minutes gone. Can we get a bit of possession? Morelos. Candy ass. I've actually cleaned up by Georgian. Right place, right time. Here come Rangers again. Broken up by Lazaroni. McGinn punts it long for Kutonga. One on one with the keeper. That's three. Three horrendous shots. Fez was there, might have had a bit more luck. So, in that case, so my uh, harebrained scheme of bringing Fez on lasted three minutes. Hopefully, it didn't cause any long term damage. We'd like to have him back for the uh, last chunk of the season. Are we still, what is this? Corner, Windus, Tillman strikes. Go overload. Last eight, seven minutes of the actual Scottish Cup. Are we going to bow out? Silver can strike. It'll be another corner. Who to take? McGinn. Punts it in there. Murray. I'll have a shot from distance. No good. Olnick kicks it long. Boyman's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Glover with a strong arm save. Tips it out for a corner. And Candias will take this corner. Silver has clear. Pina. Candias. Gets cross in there. Bruno Alves tops it home. 2 0. Rangers are going to, to the semi finals of the Scottish Cup. We're going home. Or are we? Or are we? We can score straight from kickoff. That would make it interesting. Punted long. Nope. We're going home. Morelos. Dorans. Boyman's shot is up and over. Four minutes of injury time. I think that's too little, too late. Um, and we're going home. Like I said, focus on the league. Realistically, we can't really focus on the league, but we can try and keep second spot ahead of these punks. And this should be the last bit of action. Pina, candy ass. There it is. Rangers through. 2-0. So that result kicks us out of the Scottish Cup quarterfinal, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah. We just, have to, we just have to deal with just winning the League Cup final. You know, we won a bit of silverware. Can't complain. So the season, technically, is uh, grinding to a halt. All that's left is the Scottish Premiership. Yeah, I won't get our hopes up because we are at least 20 points, pretty much 20 points adrift of Celtic. So that concludes this video. In the next set of fixtures, uh, I'm going to probably plow through these six uh, and we'll go to where the Premiership splits into. Because, you know, yes, there are points to be won and all that kind of stuff. And there is an Edinburgh derby there. But that really, right now, you wouldn't consider Hearts a, a major threat to us so let's just plow through these and i'm sure we got another rangers match which could uh, and a motherwell match to look forward to if you've enjoyed this video you might want to check out my other two game saves glory on the rhine featuring shalko nulfia and reach for the summit featuring real sociedad until next time thumbs up subscribe ciao for now